At their core, libraries have not changed over time. They are about providing information to people and they are about um, supporting learning. So the world around the library, of course, has changed and now we have digital platforms for um, accessing information that we that are part of our core business. Uh, we stay up to date with um, journal databases, with changes to search engines, to uh, trends in digital formats, and we understand how to uh, teach students and help them learn about how to access those things, uh, about the information that's out there, how to critically think about what they encounter, um, particularly in a time of fake news and alternative facts. Um, we can work with classroom teachers and their specialist content knowledge and our knowledge about how to access that information and how to use it properly. So sometimes when you're searching you don't always get what you want but I did learn a trick that can help that. So for, but for it to work you'll have to use Google. Um, so let's say I'm like searching Falcon or something and what comes up is like cars and products. It might come up with a few things I want but to completely eliminate the other results I don't like then there's a button labelled settings which is underneath the search bar. So click it and I'll be presented with seven options. One of them is advanced search. Click it and a new page will open up with questions like this exact word or phrase, any of these words or none of these words and more. And once you're done you just click a blue button at the bottom of the page and hopefully you'll have better results. I think a good school librarian makes countless introductions that are going to be just as important as finding the right person to spend a year or a decade or a lifetime with. Introductions to ideas, introductions to ways of looking at the world that might be quite different to anything you've encountered before. A good school librarian will say, I'd like you to meet a few ideas that I think might interest you. Some of them are very different to others. They're all connected to what, why the First World War started, for example. I think you might like to spend some time with them. And that way of looking at the world, that is, that is what school libraries are about. They don't pretend there are easy answers. They don't invite young people to skate superficially across the surface of our human experience. They say, look, there are more words in these walls and there are more portals we can take you to than you'll ever have time to consume in your life. But Here's the first lesson. There is always far, far more to think about than just yes or no, us or them.